Join me for a fabulous cruise along this very special stretch of one of Britain's most beautiful canals. But firstly, let's have a look at Dundas Basin. I had moored overnight just north of the spectacular neoclassical Dundas Aqueduct. A holiday boat is being returned to Brasnocker Basin down the quarter mile stretch of navigable Somerset Coal Canal. One of the old cranes stands redundant as a reminder of the past. The view from the aqueduct along the Avon Valley is beautiful at any time of year. The railway sits just above the river and the canal runs some 50 or 60 feet above the train track. OK, the sun has broken through, so let's get cruising. It's fair to say that the camera doesn't really capture the depth and the steepness of the valley here. It really is a quite beautiful vista. What a feat of engineering this is. After Bradford Lock there are no more locks for the eight mile trip into Bath. The canal just being cut into the hillsides. Millbrook Swing Bridge, one of the few on the K&A where you swing the bridge from the offside. Now as a solo boater this means I have to moor on the offside to operate the bridge. I squeeze in between this boat and the bridge and there's a ring to tie the stern to. Once through, I have to tie Reverie to the wide beam to close the bridge. Claverton moorings on the right. These are permanent moorings. Occasional moorings are beyond the pinch point.
If you stop here, take time to walk down the road from the bridge to Claverton Pumping Station and Wally Weir. There are interesting art installations on the offside between Trowbridge and Bath. Now this really isn't the washing line of a woman with too much underwear. It's actually a statement on the pandemic. Having moored a little way south of Bathampton, I'm on my way again for the final two miles into the city of Bath. Bathampton village straddles the canal with beautiful honey-coloured stone cottages. The water point and refuse disposal is just east of Bridge 183. I like the way 
they all jumped out as soon as I came along. Oh, I've, yeah. I've taken it personally, you know. <laughs> Another art installation. The K&A was built in three sections, the first being the canalisation of the River Kennet between Newbury and Reading in the early 18th century and this section between the River Avon at Bath and the River Kennet at Newbury was authorised in 1794. The predicted revenues for the canal never really materialised, mainly due to the opening of the London to Bristol railway line, which more or less runs right next to the waterway. The last regular traffic on the canal ended in the 1930s. The building on top of Bath Tunnel No. 2, which is actually just a wide bridge, is Cleveland House, which was the HQ for the K&A and was built in 1820. It was sold in 2017 and the list price was three and a quarter million quid. As usual, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, that would really help my channel. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see when I upload new videos. Also, please share on your social media, that will help my channel an awful lot too. Okay, hopefully see you next time. Cheers now.